Okay, thank you. The recording has been started. So this method, uh, which we want to discuss today, is Rankata method, and uh, the proof is based on the Taylor series. The Taylor series method for solving differential equations numerically is restricted uh, by the labor involved in finding the higher order derivative. And uh, there is a class of method known as Rankata method, which uh, do not require the calculation of higher order derivative and the give greater accuracy. So the Rankata method uh, possesses the advantages of the requiring only the functions value at some selected point. And this method agrees with the Taylor series solution up to the h raised to power r, where r differs from the method to the method and is called the order of that. Okay, so here we have the complete derivation of the Rankata method and uh, based on um, uh, Euler method. Okay, you can see this is the Euler method. And from this, uh, the proof uh, for second order, for third order, and for fourth order has been established. Okay, so uh, we will start from uh, this fourth order. Okay, we need uh, when you will establish this form uh, formula and you will, when you will go through about this formula. So this is the working rule. We need this working rule. Uh, I'm not uh, trying to prove and uh, uh, I'm not paying the. Uh, this is the working procedure uh, for Rankata method. Uh, okay, so when we have dy upon dx is equal to fxy and y x naught is the initial condition and uh, for that we need to calculate uh, these four values k1 k2 k3 k4 okay and you can easily observe k1 is equal to h f x naught y naught then k2 we have h f x naught plus 1 by 2 h y naught plus 1 by 2 k1 where k1 is computed at this place okay and from this place uh, uh, by using uh, k2 we have the value of k3 you can see uh, k3 is equal to h f x naught plus 1 by 2 h y naught plus 1 by 2 k2 and then we have the value of k4 uh, we need to compute these all these values k4 will be equal to h f x naught plus h and y naught plus k3 and finally we need to compute the value of k and k will be equal to 1 by 6 k2 plus 2k2 plus 2k3 and plus k4 okay so after computing all these values and when we have the value of k which is given at this place and uh, to get the value of k we need k1 k2 k3 and k4 and y1 y1 is the value 8 x1 and x1 will be equal to x0 plus x okay so corresponding to x1, we have this value y0 plus k. Okay, so this is the fourth order and uh, most of the problems uh, and everywhere and most familiar to everyone is rank it fourth order. Okay, we will discuss also uh, third order and second order, but uh, all of you uh, will be, I think, uh, very familiar about this one. So now the most important thing is how we can implement MATLAB to compute uh, the values in the given interval. Okay, so this is the first step. And uh, when we want to compute the target value, okay, in that case, uh, number of first steps are required. Okay, so from X0 to Y1, uh, uh, y0 to y1 we have by this relation okay then we need to calculate y2 y3 y4 and so on up to yn to get the value at the end uh, last value of interval okay so depend upon the step size so you know uh, how much labor is required to compute all these values uh, manually Okay, and also uh, I will recommend you, you all of you must try one example. Okay, uh, so that uh, why you need to compute one example? This will help you to understand how we are calculating these values. Okay, some uh, some of you may be 
very beginner so uh, i will recommend you try only this example all the calculations are there just you need to case the point and uh, uh, this value this is the value 8 y note plus this is the value of k this is the value of k okay so when you will uh, you will get the value of y1 and y1 will be equal to y note plus k so this is k and uh, at the above at this place you can see this is y note so 1 plus k you have the value at this place so uh, in uh, similarly there are some more examples but uh, you can try come at this place this is important for us for computing this information which i create a document for the entire information will support you how you can uh, write your matlab program and then you can compute according your desire value okay so uh, here the rankata method is widely used in numerical technique for solving ordinary differential equations it named after the german mathematicians uh, karl range and uh, martin kota okay who is first developed at around uh, turn the 20th century the method is particularly popular because of its simplicity flexibility and accuracy so a uh, as it core the rankata method approximate the solution of an initial value problem for an ode by advancing the solution through small time steps note this point the step size must be small okay and the basic idea is to use a weighted average of several intermediate slope values to estimate the solution at the next time step okay the value of k depends upon these intermediate slopes okay uh, to make more accurate and uh, the most commonly used uh, form of the rankata method is the fourth order so that's why i am starting from this order okay and uh, here you can see uh, how we can initialize so these are some steps uh, given at this place and uh, we need to follow all this this document will also be provided to you so what do you need uh, we are given this initial problem dy quantity is equal to fty okay with the initial initiate condition y t note is equal to y note uh, we start with the time t note with the initial value y note and step size we need to choose uh, small step size h to discretize the interval of the interest what, whatever we are given okay so now all the intermediate steps uh, we need the value of k1 k2 and k3 so uh, as you know when we want to compute uh, for uh, different points we need uh, in generalized form okay uh, at this place you can see uh, the formula when you will go to the formula okay see here uh, this is only we have uh, x not plus 1 by 2 x and y not plus 1 by 2 k1 okay so uh, x not and y not okay, from the initial point but uh, by using we are only the one at the one step we are getting only one value y1 after y not okay the next value after y not will be y1 but we need y1 y2 y3 y4 up to yn and yn is the value at xn xn is the last point of the interval so the interval uh, which whatever we are given from x node to uh, t node to tn depend upon the value of n how the size of uh, the step size okay so according to that we have a numerous point and that's why we need the, all these expressions in the generalized form so these are in the generalized form and uh, on the basis of these generalized form we are able to write a matlab code and uh, easily we can implement so after that uh, computing k1 k2 k3 
we need to compute weighted average and we need to combine all these and you can see y n plus 1 is equal to y n plus 1 by 2 k 1 plus 2 k 2 plus 2 k 3 plus k 4 okay so this is the uh, required formula uh, which will combine the intermediate values to compute the weighted average slope okay and uh, uh, when you will have at this place n equal to 0 when you will have n equal to 0 so all these values will be the same as at this place okay and we will get the value of k that will be added in the y note and you will have the value of yn okay similarly when you will have a, uh, uh, you want to get the value of y2 you need to put n equal to 1 in this expression and so on ultimately when you will go in this way you have the last value of the interval okay so the iteration repeat uh, step 3 and 4 for each step until the desired endpoint is reached and uh, uh, this method offers a good balance between accuracy and computational efficiency making it suitable for a wide range of OD and it's worth noting that while RK4 is popular choice. Uh, there are the other variants Rankita method. Uh, you know RK2 and RK3 is there. Okay, so uh, we will discuss about all the, uh, uh, these two also. But we are going to start to compute with the help of a fourth order. So now you need to check how we can... Uh, write the programming for Rankata fourth order. Okay, come to MATLAB. This is our MATLAB window, and here is here is uh, just one minute. I put here three examples. So first, I need to open very first example. Okay, and uh, yes, uh, here is. This is the example. Okay, very nice, very nice. Uh, yes. So here we have is, uh, this is not required. Okay. So how we can write the function for Rankata method? Okay. And this example we choose at, at this place. Example is, this is dy quantity is equal to uh, minus 2y plus sin t. And uh, the interval we have is 0 to 5 we want to compute the value when t is 5 okay and uh, y naught is 1 and the value of h is 0 0.1 okay uh, for this example for this example uh, the step size uh, which we need to choose at the place is 0 0.1 but again depend upon uh, stability Okay, and uh, you can modify according to your choice. Okay, so uh, before starting this one, I need to discuss with you some more computing at which I need to use at this place. See here, I have m is equal to, I have is m equal to this is somewhat I have is matrix. Then 2, 3, 4, and 5. Again, uh, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So this is the matrix of uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4, 5, 6, 7, and enter. This is one of the matrix. Okay. If uh, I want to extract or if I want to access any row or any column from this matrix, C, M and uh, column, comma, 1. What is the meaning of this one? Check it when you will enter. You can see when I am using at this place 1, it will extract only the first column. First column. Okay. And all the rows. See, all the rows. The meaning of column is all the element or you can say all, all rows, uh, the place uh, column represent for the rows and the second element which I am using at the place is column. Okay. So here uh, first row 
element second row element third row element are there one two four okay but i choose at at this place column a is one again if i want to use here uh, three i am if i change it three and i will enter you can see this is third column you can see the element of third column are three four six and scroll down we have the element three four six okay and if i am using four at this place this will access the element from the last column okay but all all the rows whatever we have uh, we have at this place three rows okay so and the these are the element of fourth column and if you are using in this way at this place i am choosing one and at this place i put the column sign see this this is the all the element from the first row okay so the meaning of this column is all the column okay but row is first if you are using at this place three then again you can check okay and if you are doing like in this way what happen check it all the rows all the column okay so this operation will be used at this place also while writing the program okay otherwise you can adopt uh, as we do in the um, previous methods okay and also sometimes we can use this expression and this uh, example will help you to understand the syntax which we are using at this place now you can use here clc and clear okay now we have everything is fine first we need to write the program for rankata method fourth order so this is the same as uh, we note at this place uh, rankata fourth order name of the function and uh, these are the argument uh, f denote dy upon d uh, f is used for dy upon dt for the derivative function okay and t span is the interval uh, time span you can see uh, t start is the starting point and t end is the last point so this is the time span okay and uh, the symbol which we are using at this place is t span and what is y not y not is the initial value when we have t equal to 0 y not is the given value and h is the step size so this argument we need to pass for this rankata method okay so uh, all these will depend upon the uh, differential equation and what conditions are given so uh, all the formulas which you want to use okay and uh, according to the given conditions boundary conditions initial conditions and all these you need to pass through the function and according to that we write the first statement then after what will be the output t and y t and y will be the outputs and that's why we have t and y we need both values why we need both values because we want to plot the result we want to get the value of t and y okay if we have 10 points in the given time interval then corresponding to these 10 point of t we need 10 values of y also okay so we need to store the values of t as well as the value of y array and uh, uh, nothing new at this place but everything is same you can see here is t time span 1 and t span 2 this is the initial value of the interval this is the last value of the interval and h is the step size h is the step size okay and uh, n the length of this t span and according to this length, we want to generate zeros, zero vector. Okay. And uh, you can see uh, length y naught to n. So this will generate the zero vector. And you can see now 
the expression at this place which we discussed just now okay if you want to use if you want to check the value of this expression you need experiment you need to break uh, this value okay sequence of statement and how you can check simple you need to go at this place why not this is the value of y not okay this is the value of y not and when you will enter see on the right hand side in the workspace what will happen you can see on the right hand side the value of y not initial value is store in y not assignment variable okay then after then after if you want to check the value of this one copy from this place and paste and check so this is why this is why and there is only one value there is only one value okay similarly uh, uh, so this is the initialization okay this is the initialization so initial values has been started then uh, we need to compute all the values corresponding to at this place and all these will store in y the y array has been uh, generated with the initial value so when you will compute all these values will store in y corresponding to at uh, corresponding to t so now see at this place k1 k2 k3 k4 okay so here uh, uh, you will check very carefully in the place of n note it in the place of n we are using i we are using i come back at this place see this is the k1 k2 k3 k4 okay you can check in this way this will help you this will help you yeah yes 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 now compare everything and uh, this is the matlab okay and uh, i can do in this way yes see now uh, on the right hand side uh, we have pdf file on the left hand side we have matlab so first we need k1 this is k1 is equal to h product f t i y i okay so corresponding to the index i all the values will be computed uh, and uh, what is the meaning of a t i t i when we have i is equal to 1 this will be t1 and t1 will be equal to t naught t1 will be equal to t naught and when we have i is equal to 1 at this place we have y1 and y1 is equal to we have is y naught okay so in the same way when you will have an k1 and is equal to 1 we you have t1 and uh, t1 and uh, y1 okay so in this way uh, you can easily convert k2 k3 k4 you can compare these equations with the uh, k1 k2 k3 k4 on the right hand side and after that here is uh, you can see in uh, vetted average y n plus 1 is equal to y n plus 1 by 2 k1 plus 2 k2 plus 2 k3 plus k4 okay so here uh, this is y n in the place of n we have i okay then after uh, 1.6 of uh, k1 2 k2 2 k3 2 k4 c at this place this is k1 2 k2 2 k3 plus k4 upon 6 and when this this part will be added to in this we have y n plus 1 we have y n plus 1 so our loop will be run from i is equal to 1 to n minus 1 why because at the end we need when you will put at this place n minus 1 this will be y n okay we need y n so that the value not cross the interval okay so this is the complete program of rankata method very simple and also uh, uh, this Euler method we have already discussed and uh, here also we are using the same expression as we uh, do for 
Rankita method. But in the um, previous examples, uh, we are not using in this way. Okay, so there is no difference. You can use in the same as we do for the um, Euler method, modified Euler method, same syntax in the same way you can use at this place also, doesn't matter, but you can use in this way also. Okay, so here we have the same method which we discuss, Euler method and syntax you can easily understand. So I will not explain more, much more about this function. So we have these two methods, what we are doing here in, the, in this example, um, we will compare the results. Okay, so we are choosing the example we have is d by upon dt is equal to minus 2 plus sin t. And uh, what is the meaning of this statement? This is, we are using anonymous function. Okay, so when we are using anonymous function in the MATLAB, we need not required it to create user defined function. You can easily use in the script file. Okay, so here uh, this is the t, t span uh, 0 to 5 and this is y note, this is the step size, you can change. Okay, so first we need to compute the value by using the Rankata method. What we are doing, this is uh, t and this is y. Okay, c at this place, we have we need to store these two values t and y okay so here uh, this is t and this is y we, why we are using at the place t underscore rk4 because uh, this will help uh, to store uh, the value corresponding to rank method okay if you will use at the place t and at the place y and the same way in this place t and y then we are not able to store these values separately. That's why we are using uh, separate syntax uh, in the uh, space t underscore rk4. Okay, the value of t is will be stored at the space and that of y is at the space. And we are using the same function which we create just now at the space. Same function is here. Okay, and similarly you will use uh, run at the space. Euler method and uh, the most important thing is that the order of the argument must be same okay if you are taking y note and h in the beginning and t span is at the end so the order of uh, this part and this part of the arguments must be same if you will change this will be problem for you okay if you will interchange these argument y note and h at this place okay so this will create the problem for you depend upon at this place okay so that's why you must not change all this uh, if you are comparing two methods the argument uh, must be same so that uh, error can be avoid now uh, these statements are the same just only uh, this statement is used to plot the first graph uh, for Euler, uh, Rankta method and the second is used for Euler method. And when you will execute this, this sequence of statement and you will have a very smart, very beautiful graph you can see. So on the horizontal line, we have time interval, a uh, time interval from 0 to 5. On the left hand side, we have 0 and on the right hand side, we have 5. And on the left hand side, on vertical line, we have solution of y, solution y, okay. And uh, also we have recent and uh, the blue color is, blue line is used for, blue curve is used for Rankata K fourth order, okay. And uh, the other color is for Euler. And uh, you can see the similarity, both the results are approximately same at the place we have uh, uh, more difference if you want to, to check the error difference you can do but uh, uh, for the error difference you must have the exact solution uh, to check the um, error or difference for more analysis okay so 
uh, if you will reduce the step size see what happen you can do some more experiment for more accuracy if you change the step size this is now very small and when you execute and see and analyze seems to be converge okay Bo uh, both are coincide but if you will uh, you will choose from this place the zoom in sign and uh, then click here okay zoom in yes do more and more and more uh, okay now scroll down scroll down scroll down yes so when you will do some more zoom and uh, now you can see there is a very small difference can be observed between these two curves okay so uh depend upon how much accuracy we need according to that we can decrease the step size so this graph is now you can observe in the interval 2.42 2.5 very small step size is there okay and then we have you can observe uh, in this interval the difference of the values okay so in this way you can check the accuracy you can compare the methods you can include some more methods to compare the results okay for the accuracy so here uh, the step size was this one and you can execute any doubt any doubt in this example uh, which i try to explain here if is it clear then we need only 15 minutes more yes please if you have any doubt in this example over to you i try to explain every step so that uh, this will help you any question please any question please uh, uh, good no, afternoon no question sir no question uh, good afternoon prop good afternoon uh, good afternoon prop yeah good afternoon how are you uh, fine prop i have a i have a question prop yes please okay my question is uh with regard to the generated uh, uh numerical results that you have plotted uh can we can can you please prop uh generate the numerical result for us so that we can be able to see them not the plotted result no not the plot but the numerical results can we see them uh, i repeat your question yeah what 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 i'm saying prop is that uh the what you have projected for us is the plotted numerical results between Euler method and Arkepo method. So, prop, uh, can we have the numerical results for that graphs that you have generated? Okay, okay, numerical result. I think you did not attend my uh, previous lecture. Yes, yes, prop, yes, prop. Yeah, this is the problem. That's why you are asking. Yes, we can get, we can obtain numerical values also. And all these all these things has been discussed in uh, previous lectures. Okay, and uh, here in this example, in this example, uh, just one minute. Mm, okay, okay. For the numerical values, C, uh, C L C. Uh, okay, come at the pace. Uh, in this interval you will have the numerical values and uh, numerical values are stored at this place and at this place okay mm -hmm. e span uh, e span e span mm -hmm. the value of h and uh e r k4 okay yes 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 we have this value you can see this and this okay so what i am doing I am doing at this place we have t is equal to we have is t is equal to uh, t and underscore r k 4 semicolon and then we have y is equal to y is equal to um, y is equal to we have is t t and uh, underscore you can use uh, either Euler or okay uh, rk4 and y rk4 where is y rk4 okay here is y rk4 we need y rk4 okay y underscore rk4 c at this place what is t and y come here these are the values of t and these are the values of y okay and along with uh, we need uh, we need 
we need sorry and uh, take at space transpose transpose of trk4 okay and enter and transpose of y and then enter now you need to get the value of t and y and enter so this is the uh, first is uh, sorry, sorry, we, we, can, we can't see your screen we can't see your screen your screen we can't see it uh okay my screen is not visible okay sorry yes uh see at this place uh on the right hand side on the right hand side we have the values okay and also see the script file when you are using this statement and all the values are computed and where these values are stored they uh, at this place in this left hand side assignment all the values has been stored okay and uh, so we are using the same to plot the value for the plot we are using add the space okay this is t and this is y okay but we need all these values in the numerical form what you will do uh, you can easily do from this place uh, t is equal to we have t r k 4 transpose if you are you will not use it transpose then all the values will be in the row format but we need in the column format okay that's why i am using transpose you can see the sign at the base similarly we are transposing the values of y and all these values which are stored in y underscore rk4 now replaced in y t y and t okay now we want to extract all these values together that's why i am using this expression when you will enter when you will enter you will have these two columns okay first in the first column we have the values of t and in the second column we have the values of y you can check okay if you want to, uh, to reduce the step size for the numerical values you can do all these values depend corresponding to the step size and step size we have is 0 0.1 c in the first column 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 and will go up to 5 okay and corresponding to all these values we have that of y got it yes bro thank you okay. yeah so uh, you. this is the island uh, fourth order then uh, i will not take more time just uh, I, I i will uh, put only the example uh, one more example here you can see mm, this is the command window and open and open here is only the uh, one more example okay and the coding part is the same just we have the new example okay and we are comparing here uh, the rankata method with exact solution in this example what we are doing we are comparing the example which is this one with the exact solution so the exact solution for this uh, expression we have is exponential t okay and at the place the values are computed for by using rk4 and when you you will run this code okay uh, this part is same you can check all this this is the same no change okay and when you will execute and you can compare so this method is uh, very fast and uh, we can easily access the exact solution the difference between the exact and uh, rk4 will be very small difference okay so that's why uh, this method is highly used for different uh, type of problems and uh, also uh, you can check the third example in the third example we have the correct that is also has been discussed in this example okay so uh, for the rate of convergence we need to follow all the steps as we discuss for the Euler method okay modified Euler method the same approach is also at this place okay and uh, we choose example uh, and its uh, example is minus dy quantity is equal to minus 2 dy okay and this is the exit solution and the same approach is used here also you can see uh, these are the step size 0 0.1 0 0.05 0 0.025 0 0.0125 
okay so uh, these different step sizes we will compare the result and uh, you will see that the step size h as much will be small we have more accurate solution okay uh, and now you can uh, you you can use the error what is error what is error uh, we are using uh, error means the difference between exact value and the approximate value okay so uh, many things i skip at the place because all the step has been already discussed in the previous lecture so just uh, you can see at the place we are checking the uh, absolute maximum error function is used at the place and uh, low low function is there and by using the low low function you can easily check the convergence rate and you can see that the convergence is lies uh, in the interval uh, 0 to 0 0.1 the interval is from 0 to 0 0.1 and at the 0 at, at the left hand side you can see uh, and on the left hand uh, left hand side vertical line this is maximum absolute error okay so as much you have at the bottom you have the very smallest value 10 raised to power minus 9 okay and you can check at the place the error difference is very very small when you will have 0 0.0125 at the place okay and is uh, on, when you the value of a step size is increasing the error is also increasing okay so in this graph you can compare the convergence rate so as much we have the small value we have more accurate value the error is very small and the step size is large or uh, corresponding to that the rate of error is also increased you can compare all these things in this graph so this is all about the rankata method okay fourth order so now uh, we put some more examples any question related to this one please and uh, stability expansion is also given you can go through all these detail for the stability analysis uh, similar to the Euler method okay that's why i am not expanding everything uh, this file will be available for you you can easily go through and check the stability and the conditions now for the uh, rangta method uh, third order and there are only two examples and the difference is that the difference is that okay yes so for the third order we are computing only k1 k2 and k3 only this is the difference rest the value of y n plus 1 will be computed by using this expression okay and uh, these are the same as we do for k uh, fourth order k1 k2 and k3 write the program and the programming is the same just k4 is absent and this is new okay so this is completely based on the fourth order uh, third order rankata method you can check the formula detail going back in this file okay the third order will be given at some place second order this is the second order okay only k1 and k2 will be computed and then after we have the third order the, this is the third order so this is k1 then we have the k2 and k3 and uh, y1 will be equal to y0 plus 1.6 k1 plus 4 k2 plus k3 okay this we need to convert in the generalized form and then you will be able to write this code okay and uh, you can easily implement as we do for the fourth order same process and you can check this example and run the code and we have the graph we have the graph okay similarly you can easily convert the code for second order uh, there are uh, in this uh, in this we have four examples are given and in the very first example you can easily check yes what is in this site we need to compute only k1 and k2 okay k1 and k2 and uh, this is the equation from which you can update the value of y okay so rest all the things are similar as we discuss in the k fourth order okay write the code 
and here we choose the example this one for the interval and the step size is 0 0.1 and here we are compute, call the function to compute the value of t and y will be stored in this expression and this is the exact solution this is the exact solution and then we are plotting at this place so quite easy uh, all the things are parallel to rk4 and when you will execute and you can see the result okay now i think there is no more question related to this discussion everything is clear any question please any question so the thing is when you will discuss uh just one minute just one minute yeah. uh, where is chat someone is asking about uh, can we apply these methods uh, second order or the how to implement the second order uh, actually the thing is that uh, if uh, you uh, all these method which we discuss is used for only dy upon dt and dy upon dt is first order okay when you are going for higher order then we have numerical approaches are there methods are there but we have to adopt a different approach okay so you know, this is all about this method and if you have any question please feel free to discuss i have one more session after this session and i have only eight minutes more to start the next session yes please if you have any co or more question please don't hesitate ask immediately uh Imtiaz ahmed dr b b p joshi sahab md siddiqar dr m sasikala please let me know is there any doubt today i present very fastly if still there is any question please don't hesitate to ask the question from your side please let me know if you have any question jitender ji namaskar hello are you there or sleeping okay, no question sir everything okay Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Sir, yeah, yeah. okay okay so i was waiting for your response if there is any question please feel free but the method which we implement is very simple to implement just you need to note that while we are writing the computing code we need to convert in the generalized form and then you can easily go far to write the program and the most important thing is to Hello, sir. write the program how you can convert in the MATLAB syntax. Only this thing you need to adopt. Yes. Hello, sir. Can we use yeah. the solve system of equation? Pardon? Can we use this, this to solve system of equation on Jakuta? Oh, so for the system of, uh, yeah, we can use uh, some method for the system of differential equations. And uh, all these will be discussed in the coming sessions. Okay. Yeah, so all the, uh, you you must visit on the website and all the method which we uh, choose for this uh, ongoing activity. There are 20 separate methods and all these method will be targeted one by one and we will cover each. And all these method will support you in many ways. Okay, everything is, uh, has been chosen uh, in this uh, uh, series of uh, lectures or in this course okay so please wait everything uh, will be covered during this entire course okay so uh, thank you very much for today's session uh, if there is no more question we can end now the content uh, will be available for you who are registered on the platform thank you very much good night see you on the next session on Thursday. Till then, uh, try practice on this entire di discussion during four days. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sir, hello, sir. Thank you, sir. Good night. Good night. Good night.